Welcome back to the mix, y'all. So it's Regine Carter. So let's just get right back into it. So Regine, I saw on Instagram your dad wishing you a happy early birthday. It's coming up on November 29th. So happy birthday from all of us. Yes, happy birthday. Yeah. Happy, birthday. Yeah. happy early okay, birthday. Early birthday. What's your plan for your birthday? What you got going on? Okay, so mind you, I don't know if y'all really know, but I've been doing big parties since I was like one year ago. I'm really big on parties. So mm -hmm. I feel like this party is going to be bigger than like my other parties because, you know, I'm doing it for the nine, nine and the two thousands. And I was like one, two years old. So, <laughs> you know, this is going <laughs> to be something. But um, basically, you know, I'm just doing a hot boy, hot girls thing, you know, bling, bling type of era. And it's going to be lit. And I have Manny Fresh DJing. I just got to say Yes. That's like really that, was, that was it. Yeah, that was that's lovely. I love that. Oh, Manny Fresh, the DJ. I love it. I even saw you got billboards in Atlanta. You ain't playing <laughs> no games. Yes, no. I def. I got my own billboards around Atlanta because it's like you know, I want people to see me. They have to know it's <laughs> November. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a light flex. It's a light flex. You know. Yeah. Light yeah, you know, no, no. billboards. It's nothing. <laughs> Period. <laughs> And that's my first. I love, I love it. Awesome. We know your party and your invite list is probably crazy. We saw even Nicki Minaj commented asking for an invite. So we got to get the tea. Who's some people that's making the guest list? Y'all, the mix. And y'all better be there. Let me just tell y'all something. Okay. Hey. Look, I just saw my I saw my invite in the DM today. I was I got to go to ATL, y'all. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> out there, you know, I'm gonna have a couple people in there, but I just I'm worried about the mix right now. So y'all yeah, gonna, okay. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna be in there, big and pregnant. Baby. Take a flight from <laughs> Come on. I'm hoping for my water break at the party. Mommy, so, stop uh, saying uh, that. <laughs> I keep saying that. I really hope that. I just really hope you right. get a whole party and then I can't go with you and stay in the lobby because I'm probably be drunk, turned. Come yeah, on. Yeah, you could just chill and she I'll tell you when she come out. Like you don't have that to go. That is my baby. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna Look, get I, it. I, I, remember, I remember you had one of the biggest sweet sixteens ever in MTV history. I remember they hit me up. There was like, yo, Wayne daughter just shut it down on MTV. So I gotta say. Do you think that this party is going to top that? Because that's that's a classic right there. How could you top what's the top? Party. Yes, I feel like that is this party is because it's just so different. And it's so it's like my daddy was a hot original hot boy. And the fact that I'm doing this thing, I just think it's so dope. And everybody, everybody been hitting me up about it. So I just feel like this is going to be it. Let me call my sister. Y'all know I'm filming a movie, but I got to make it to Reginald birthday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's, 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 um, Make it happen. Yeah, on a movie. You look at me. For <laughs> a period. Is you trying to get the role? <laughs> Who would you want to be in a movie with? I want to know that. I got Who some... I want to be in a movie with? Who would you want to be in a movie with? Um, shoot. I love Taraji P. Henson, Angela Bassett. Um, Working both of them amazing. Right? Um, who else? I do one more person, a man. Denzel. Idris. Mm. Idris. Mm. Idris, yeah. Nice little list there. I like that list. That list is solid. Wow, very talented. Uh, but oh, yeah. You know, her list is just so amazing. My girl really wants to ask, so I had to ask because I say it's not true. But are you really going to leave me and go to L.A. with all the lanes? Oh, 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 wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh, we're not going to disrespect LA like that, baby. Girl. Not you guys. Not you guys. Thank okay. me. Okay, listen. I'm going to be by coastal. I just feel like in LA, you wake up and you want to do something. Sometimes being in Atlanta, it makes you lazy. Everybody just want to party and do all of that. Like, I need to go somewhere where I can go, come somewhere and party, and then go somewhere and work. Yeah. Yeah, I hear that. And Romeo is here. Period. Oh, so. We about to pull up on Romeo. Make these movies. Wow. We about it's to make Romeo. these movies. Like, Romeo show reboot. We bringing cash money yeah. and put women together, baby. Finally. 
is going down with the next generation. Oh, oh wow, God. y'all wilding out here. Yeah, so you and Romeo might have to fight for Regine from now on. It's right, incredible. like he's going so hard. Like the vibes, man. The vibes. You I need her to be here. Me. Come on, Romeo already right. know what's up, man. Exactly. <laughs> you guys, so we got to switch it. We got to switch it to some music talk. Being that Regine's dad is the legendary Little Wayne. Last week, the Jeezy and Gucci Mane verses broke all kinds of records and may have been one of the biggest moments in hip hop. But fans are now calling for a Lil Wayne versus Eminem battle. Regine, I want to know what you think of that matchup or who you think your dad should battle. Okay, um, I'm going to just tell y'all the truth. <laughs> I just feel like <laughs> my dad is a Martian, man, and ain't nobody he can battle <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I mean yeah. I, don't, I feel like the only person that I would say I can't even say Jay-Z what like I mean I don't know like and again my daddy won't do that type of stuff he's just not gonna battle but like I feel like nah man he, he I gotta speak I agree with her on that Wayne, yeah, I was thinking yeah, baby is in a lane of his own. I'm we won't we won't have a lot of rappers if it wasn't for him. I see yeah. literally growing up, you know, I seen it being from down south in New Orleans, the the um the influence he had. And I think a lot of people forget that in this day and age. People don't realize you work your ass off so you don't have to work as hard when you're older. He don't gotta go in the studio and put yeah. albums out no more. But you gotta realize the influence that Wayne had, that's not my favorite rapper, dead or alive. That's my favorite rapper ever and I feel my dad yeah, yeah. is the greatest hustler rapper I feel that Wayne is the most talented and the greatest one of the greatest rappers we ever seen and you got to get a man his flowers mm-hmm. for real yeah. so we wanted to go against himself yeah yeah no, I I would love love that. That. one other person what what if what about a Wayne and tip battle oh I'm that's dead. entertainment that, yeah, that would just be entertaining yeah. this man been trying to be like who first of all they both Libras <laughs> right, they act alike. Just alike, and that just would be a funny verse. <laughs> that would be a funny verse. Why would it yeah, be? Because they both crazy, and they yeah, all that's, that's gonna be full of hits though. For the that's uh, cool. hits, though. that would be yeah. a dope versus like, yeah. But like I said, my daddy's a Martian. I don't think nobody can go against him. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. No, I was trying to think of somebody today, and I didn't really see anybody going up against Wayne either. I love Wayne, y'all. Yeah, everybody know that. Yeah. <laughs> how, could huh? how could you not love Wayne? He's just yeah, like, I mean, saying like his own style. Like Romeo said, he influenced so many rappers. Like he, in my mind, is just in his own category. Completely. Exactly. I remember, y'all. Let me tell y'all a story. I remember when he came out with those um, skinny jeans, and I was like, Daddy. What do you have going on? Like the the jeans is so so skinny, you know. And then ever since that, everybody be wearing them. Like it's like yeah, not the oh. same. I am a Martian. <laughs> Look, on that note, we got to take a quick break. But Regine is gonna be kicking it here with us only on the mix. Keep it locked. We'll be right back. Five soul, baby. <laughs> on back. Welcome back to the mix. And you see we mixing it up with Regine, one of my favorite guests so far. That's all I got to say. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, honestly, this has been fun. But Regine, I want to compliment you on your Fenty Savage ambassadorship. Like, first of all, your pictures, amazing. Yeah. Go off, yes. Girl. I still I go mean, off. Let's be real. Do you worry about your parents, like what they're going to say about those photos? Or are you just like, this is who I am, baby, accept it or leave it? I ain't say nothing about them making me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, sometimes I'll be like, uh, um, <laughs> sometimes I'll be like, yeah, you know, I don't want to. But, you know, I'm grown and mm. I feel like I'm getting paid for this. This is something, I mean, I'm getting my money for it so it's like and i make it very tasteful so hey and you do yeah <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say i'm surprised my dad never said nothing about it though he's never 
said nothing like, oh, girl, wear your clothes. Because he's usually the one that'll be like, oh, like, what you, where your short, where the rest of your shorts at? Like, he usually <laughs> said, but I think that he let me do what I do since I'm grown now, you know. Yeah. Oh, grown? I love it. <laughs> okay, well, I got a question for you. So, and for some of my co-hosts, too. How has it been growing up as a child of a celebrity? Have you guys ever dealt with pressure from the haters or people in the business constantly? Um, well, let me start. I'm going to say, I love this question, because um, it has its ups and its downs, because it's like, growing up, I'm very blessed. You know, I don't regret nothing. I feel like I got to meet some inspirational people, the biggest people, the people that people cry for. Like, I got to sit in a room. I call them my aunties. But it's also... Other things like, you know, people always have something to say about you. They always put you as, it's sometimes, I couldn't even go to certain schools because it's like, oh, she's Lil Wayne's daughter. Like, uh, I don't really know what she gonna bring to the school. Is it gonna be drama? Like, it's just all of the judging. But I would say I'm very blessed. And it's just like everybody. Life is not easy and it's not perfect, but you gotta live it. But look, what you said, I like what you said, that you're very blessed because a lot of people in our situation, in our shoes, a lot of these kids aren't happy. Just because you have a successful, mm -hmm. somebody successful mm -hmm. in your family doesn't mean you're going to be happy as a child. Like I seen this, I think The Rock said it, he was like the same hell, but different devils, <laughs> you know? And that's what life is. We got to stop comparing to other people because we're all going through something. Now you may not have this man problem over here, but you may not have this woman problems over here. So I just think just growing up in the limelight, it's, you always dealing with judgment. But at the end of the day, who cares what they think? It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, what they say about you, what does it really matter? It add anything to your bank account? No. Yeah, I'm like, y'all just put y'all just put that so you know perfectly. Like, what else can I really say? Like, y'all really just hit that right on the nose. Man, let me tell you, if I was a child star or my parents was famous when I was a kid, I would have been partying yeah, on the walls. I probably would have been in rehab seven times. Like, oh my gosh. I can, I can only imagine what it's like. Seven. I can only imagine yeah. what it's like growing up in that that life, you know what I mean? All the temptations around you. So to see that y'all made it and you guys are still, you know, stable and, and, and mentally uh, healthy, it's, it's inspiring to see. Well, look, to uh, people like her, they don't, definitely, what are you gonna say? I just say one real quick, even with her, people don't highlight the good that people in these positions are doing. Cause like you said, yeah. Tom, it's easy to just go wild out and be off track and you'll be in the dirt. You know, your family could have been in the, the jungle in the hood, but it's like this Hollywood life, this success, that's a hell of a drug. <laughs> Go listen to Justin Bieber so I know Zoe listen to this song, The Lonely Song. Oh, you know she listening. Oh, oh, and you know I listen, I listen to it, it too. That's on repeat in her house. No, nah, but you know what I was going to say? Like, for me growing up, it was two sides because my dad, NBA All-Star, and I wanted to play college ball. So I remember going to certain schools and all they talk about is Kenny Anderson, Kenny Anderson, Kenny Anderson. I'm like, what about Jazz Anderson? Y'all ask me for this for this invite, you know? So there were schools I turned down because I felt I would be too much in my dad's shadow. Um, and then, you know, with my mom, it was crazy because even though she was on the real world, I wasn't around at that time. So when she did Basketball Wives in 2013, I remember being in like seventh grade and my friends was coming up like, yo, I watched your mom last night. Me, me and my family watched your mom. And then, you know, it's like, when she was involved in a lot of drama, it did affect me and my sister a lot because I had never been exposed to social media and everybody's opinion. On They would get mad at me for things that she did. And I'm the type of person, like, I go hard for my family. If I rock with you, I rock with you. So behind closed doors, I may have been like, mom, you shouldn't have hit that woman. But in person, <laughs> I mean, in public, <laughs> on, the, <laughs> on, the, <laughs> on the internet, I got a ride for her. So I vividly remember like having to deactivate my Twitter and Instagram because I was 14, 15 and I'm like, I'm not used to this at all. But now at 24, it's like, I don't care what, what, what they say about my mom. Just, it doesn't affect me at all because I know who she really is. But Jay, did you ask for this life? Reginae, did you ask for this life? Zoe, did you ask for this life? Who brought you into the world? Like people act like, oh yeah, I just picked my parents. It's like, Right. We came into this. Yeah. We're gonna make it, we're gonna make the best out of. 
Right. Mm -hmm. Right. So mm -hmm. let me ask this. Has anyone ever said anything about your family in like a hateful way to your face? Because I've seen, oh, I, yeah. my high school, there's a lot of celebrity kids and, you know, some people will be like, oh, your dad sucks at basketball. He shouldn't be the go, like to the kid's face. And let me tell yeah. you, he clapped right back. He was like, what's your dad doing? You know what I mean? So it's like, <laughs> have y'all, no, like yeah. real talk though. So have y'all ever been in that type of situation? Yeah, nobody you played to, like, like that. People down? I was about to say, <laughs> nobody played yeah. like that. Ain't nobody they gonna play. say nothing like I, I ain't sweet. I'm not one of them. Period. Yeah, so period. period. I go eight that on anybody who talk about anybody that I love. It could be my hairstylist. I do not play about the people that I love. So it's it could like, be your dog. It could be my. It could be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she go hard. She love everybody. It, it could be her little dog. You not about to go hard on her dog. No, Nay's yeah. about to go crazy. Yeah, no. Nah, I, I've definitely been in in that position. You know. I wish they didn't try me, but a female did try me one time, said something about my mom, something very disrespectful. This is when she mm. was still on basketball wise. I went to school with the, the young lady. Um, and we got into a, a, a full. <laughs> I love jazz. Jazz going to put you together in the nicest way. Right. We got yeah, into a full fight um, to the point that it was past just school level. It was like oh, charges. Okay. Um, and I remember my mom, you know, crying on the phone and she was just like, Jazz, I can fight my own battles. You don't know how to do that to me. And uh, I'm like, man, you know. No, like, Mike, your mama, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that, that experience definitely, you know, humbled me a bit in the sense of like, she was right. At the end of the day, they're gonna talk regardless. So now mm. I don't really entertain it at all, but. Mm. Y'all, mm. Jazz can fight, so stay away from oh. her. Say some disrespectful. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. That part. No, no, no. no. Your name? I gotta ask you. Um, did you ever feel the pressure of growing up with your father, who's so successful, to be just as successful, or to go even harder to be maybe even a rap a rapper? Uh, you know, growing up, all I wanted was like my own name. Like when I was younger, all I used to be called was like Lil Wayne's daughter, Lil Wayne's daughter. Oh, this, this. But I feel like I have grown and I have heard my name without Lil Wayne after or before even though that is my father and I'm gonna wear his name forever he gonna we are packaged deal I get that but it's so good to be you know called out on a stage or called out on an interview as just Regina Carter you mm. know like just like my own and it, yeah I did have pressure at first growing up but now I feel like I just stepped into my own thing now they pressure me about other shit Regina <laughs> <laughs> Carter album are we ever gonna get some music you know you gonna you gonna get a movie before music I mean I have I do music with like the people that I love like I'll do music with my dad I'll do a song with Nick I do something like but I don't really do music. I act. I have so much personality. Like, okay, it's <laughs> it needs to be on something. Um, I, I have a movie though. I did a movie. My first movie. Did, did. And what, and what was your movie called, girl? Let us know. Pride and Prejudice, Atlanta. You know, it's on yeah. Lifetime. Yes, and Dear Santa, I Need a Date. Don't play with me. Two movies for God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please do not play with my friend. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very blessed. <laughs> okay, well, we have to take one more break. I want to thank my girl Nay for getting in the mix with us today. You know, I love you, everybody in the mix. Obviously, we all you. love you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And y'all get your holiday shopping done early and head over to shop on Tom Girl for you know, get y'all some Tom Girl. I was oh I was I was about to say I was about to say it over it's shoptomgirl.com and pick up something for all the women in your life. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back on the Fox So. Yes. What's up, y'all? Welcome back. Listen, unfortunately, we are almost out of time, but I just want to say, y'all, I love Regine so much. She is so sweet. And She's so you and her are so cute, literal. I want a friendship like that, hopefully one day in my life. <laughs> um, but I just want to know a little tea. I'm a little nosy, you know me. Is she in the running for godmother? Um, Nay is definitely 
Um, one of my godmothers, I have two actually. You know, when you have really close friends, you can't just pick one. But yeah. Nay is definitely one of my child's godmoms, and she goes the hardest. Um, she got her a car seat, a baby bag, you know, the best of the best. She gets a picture every month of my baby bump. She's, you know, it's really her baby in a way. Right. So, yeah. Can you tell us who, who the others are? Who the other... Um, right. Godmom so, is. it's two. The other godmom is Beja, who is my best friend, who no, we... Sir. Our moms were best friends growing up, and we've known each other. We were in OMG Girls together. Yeah. We just, you know... We've all we've never known a life without each other. So she's baby going out with a lot of love. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh that's yeah. so cute. She definitely, she would definitely have a lot of love. But before we head out, I want to send a shout out to another new mom, Summer Walker, who just announced that she is to having a baby. So congrats, girl. Yay. Hey. Congrats. I'll tell you the real, real, because I am all the way at the end. And yeah, you can always hit me up. I'll let you know how the sleeping gets worse at the end. Call me. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm well, I love the fact that uh, you go get some guys hey, getting off the phone with each other, right? I can't wait for the music to come out. Well, the music is gonna be fire while while she's pregnant. Have you been inspired to write while um the baby is cooking in the oven? You know, I have been inspired to do a lot, but I feel like when I every time I try to come up with concepts, they're like boring, like because I'm not doing much. It's like I want to write about my baby, but what am I saying in the tummy? So. <laughs> You well, know? listen, guys, we're out of time, but I want to wish everybody out there a happy, happy Thanksgiving. And for all of those that are traveling, please be safe, wear a mask, and wash your goddamn hands, okay? Yes. And if anybody wants to make goods or they want to send me some money, you can cash at me, you can DM me, you know, so I'm feeling really good this holiday me season. Me too. I need some baked yeah. goods for Thanksgiving. But that's <laughs> it for the mix, y'all. Oh, peace. Peace. <laughs>